I talked to other people that lived the same experience as me, and there it was more like like sudden, like go to the emergency. Um, me was more so, yeah, I felt tired, and I talked to my family doctor about it. The doctor was pretty clear on it. It's pretty clear that it could be lymphoma, especially with my blood results that weren't very normal for a girl my age. I wanted to be at Chio. I didn't want to, because I know Chio. I have a brother who is here a lot, a lot, and I know how nice of a place it is, so I wanted to be here. And we came, and we literally did all the tests in one day, which was really, it made me feel better, because the thing that gave me a lot of anxiety was that it, it was so unknown, and nothing was so, like, nothing was clear, and this, like, made it really clear. But it was just such a shock, because you never think it's going to be you. I'm actually surprised that I was still able like, to breathe normally, um, because I had a mass on my lungs and a little bit on my heart. So we did the biopsy to know exactly what um, lymphoma it was, and it was Hodgkin's. Uh, but in some way I was hoping it was Hodgkin's, because it's the best and the bad, kind of because it's so like treatable. A month ago, I've never thought I'd like get cancer, which is okay. I think I accepted it really fast. Uh, this is my third month. I'm in like second week of my third month. So I have like three, more, three and a half more months to go than radiation. There's days that are bigger than others. There's some days that I just get a small amount of chemo. Um, but like a day like this is kind of a big day because I get more than one type of chemo. And there's always like, for example, if you get a top aside, you're gonna need to stay an hour later because to make sure that you don't have an allergic reaction. And today I need to stay an hour later because I need hydration. So I get up, I get ready sometimes, not always, if I feel up to it. And it's normally a hoodie and sweatpants. Um, and then I go to the hospital with my dad. Pretty, it's pretty much always my dad because my mom has my little sister at home. And we come in. We get set up in the room with my blanket, my laptop, and we do everything I'm supposed to do. Some people are like, oh, like. For you like being in a hospital environment and all. But I kinda like it, especially with COVID right now. I have like I can't go anywhere. So like coming here is something to do for me and it's somewhere like to get ready for and all. Like I like talking to the nurses. I like making jokes to the nurses and stuff. I was so excited about the menu. Cause it's so fun. You can just pick out anything. There's everything you name it i really like the beef lasagna the pickles the pickles are good here sometimes it's hard to find pickles but they're good here the main thing i think is the people i really like even like the receptionist i arrive and like she's super fun she talks and like everyone's nice it's in a fun environment I'm staying at Chio for the rest of my life. I ain't leaving here.